Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is this MCQ. I request you students please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box. I believe you have tried so let's start. So now the question is, what is the major product of this reaction? This is actually a terminal alkene because CH2 there, so double bond is at the end and react with NBS means N bromo succinamide. It is actually a source of electrophilic bromine reagent in THF water 1 is to 1. What is the product? Let's go step by step. Now, double bond. So, when you look at double bond, means actually there is one sigma bond, one is pi bond. And remember, pi bond is more reactive because pi bond is produced by sidewise or parallel overlap of p orbital. So, it's a weaker and that's why more reactive. Now, if you look at NBS, this is n bromosaccinamide and this is actually a source of cationic bromine, I mean bromine plus, because if you look at the electronegativity of this nitrogen bromine, both atoms, so nitrogen is more electronegative than bromine, this is delta minus, bromine is delta plus, and second thing, if bromine leaves as bromine plus, whatever remaining, the anionic part that is student resonance stabilized, I mean this n minus is res doubly resonance stabilized i'd say so first case it can push here one side this resonance and another side is you can see this side and it can open by the way i've already discussed a dedicated lecture on nbs and its reactivity please visit for further learning now i'm not, I'm not going that much details here let's go to the question so nbs is a source of electrophilic bromine i mean here bromine plus so what this bromine plus will do, this will react with this pi bond because loosely bound electron cloud or lumpy electron cloud. So what it will do, first it will attack. And here it will produce this carbocation and attached with bromine here. By the way, this part is not stable as uh, carbocation is there freely. Now what can happen, this bromine can stabilize this positive charge to some extent by donating its lone pair and forming a three member cyclic intermediate which is called bridge bromonium ion. By the way, this bridge bromonium ion is not that much stable. So you can expect that there will be a equilibration between the carbocation or the bromonium ion. Now, a question that why this bromonium ion is produced? It actually this thing could be answered based on the stability. Because if you look at this is a secondary carbocation and if attack happens in some in another direction, I mean I'm writing that although it is not the product. So bromine will attach here and this is this is actually student primary carbocation. Remember secondary carbocations are more stable than primary actually the overall order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary greater than methyl. Yes, many students do this mistake they confuse with methyl plus versus primary carbocation no so this is actually the stability order of methyl sorry this is uh, carbocation so here secondary is more stable because here you can see two plus i effect cc bond sigma donation and there are here two hydrogens two alpha hydrogen here also two alpha hydrogen so four alpha hydrogens are there which can participate in hyperconjugation but here you can see one hydrogen only can participate in hyperconjugation. So more hyperconjugation, more delocalization, more stabilization. So this pathway will be followed and this will be the intermediate. Now in the next step, what can happen? Because now do not get confused that's a three member ring. Now nucleophile will attack from this side because they seen that no student carbocation. Remember this part. So never get confused on this. Now in the next phase, the water molecule will attack. So with its lone pair, it will act as a nucleophile, so it will attack. And ultimately, after attack, it will produce, this is a OH, H, oxygen is carrying a formal positive charge. This is the BR. And next phase step, one proton will be released and it will produce this molecule, OH, BR. Okay. And this molecule has a unique name, student, bromohydrin. Okay, so this is actually the answer. Now you may have one question that sir, here water and THF is taken one is to one. So why water acting as nucleophile? Because if we look at the structure of both water versus THF, THF look like this tetrahydrofuran. So it also has an oxygen. And if I look at water, water also has oxygen. So in both case, oxygen lone pair can attack as nucleophile. 
apparently it's true but remember what is the after so after this nucleophilic attack there is positive charge on this oxygen and that positive charge is neutralized by the elimination of one proton i mean you can consider this proton is eliminated but if you consider about this thf no proton is there so which could be eliminated and remember this carbon oxygen bond is very strong so it cannot be broken under this reaction condition so here thf cannot act as nucleophile only water will act as nucleophile here and produce this hal means halogen alcohol derivative so here the product is okay option b now how can you remember this thing that or if you don't know the exact answer how can you approach the exact answer remember nbs n bromosuccinamide thf water normal condition so allylic halogenation not possible student remember allyl halogenation in terms of nb is only possible if you have any radiation or heat i mean higher temperature more energy condition then bromine radical will be produced that can result in allylic halogenation so under this reaction condition this is not possible now second thing dibromo student did i take any bromine because i have provided br plus for as a electrophile but did i provide any br minus type of thing which can attack so this is not possible now your genuine confusion may be sir b versus d which will be so for that purpose remember about the stability of carbocation so in this way you can come to the right answer by the way this halohydrin rings has a very unique character so what is this you can very easily generate epoxide by these halohydrins so if you treat this molecule with base like koh and why not anyway because anyway its solubility is little less compared to ks so that's why koh is preferred so these oh minus will abstract this proton and ultimately the negative charge will come oxygen it will act as a nucleophile so intramolecular sn2 type reaction and in this way it will result in this epoxide so remember this is a very unique method to prepare epoxide from halohydrin so this is the overall discussion i believe this will be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye